So with the recent release of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, a lot of users might be making that switch from Apple over to Galaxy. So in my case, I started with Android, went to Apple, and now I'm making that switch back. So one of the questions that's gonna come up is how do I transfer my data from the iPhone back over to Samsung? So in this video, I'm gonna transfer everything from the iPhone over to the new Note 20. And hopefully this doesn't take too long. You will need a couple things. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. If you're with Samsung for any period of time, you know that they normally provide one of these in their cases. So what this is, is a USB-C to USB-A adapter. And what you do is just plug in one phone to the other and that way it allows you to transfer data. However, if you don't have one of those, you can use one of these. It doesn't have to be an Apple product. What it is, is a lightning to USB-C adapter. And this should work just as well as the adapter I just showed you. So let's go ahead and flip the phones over and get it started. So on the Note, what you're gonna do is launch your smartphone switch application and this should come installed you don't have to go to the app store to get it so go into your applications you're going to go to your samsung folder you're going to go where it says smart switch go ahead and launch it it's going to say bring your data to your new phone so go ahead and click right there and it's going to ask you how you want to connect your devices so you have a wireless and you do also have a wired option always pick wired if you have the ability guys just a lot smoother it's going to be faster and you don't want to waste time while this is transferring so we're going to pick cable for this, of course, we only have one way of doing this. So we have the USB-C right here. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in right there. Now on the iPhone, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the Lightning. Go ahead and open it. Now you see the pop-up on the iPhone, I actually need to trust this device. So we're gonna trust it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in my code, All right? Code's in, we're gonna go ahead and hit next. All right, so what do I wanna bring? So this is a very important screen, guys. It literally brings up everything you wanna bring over to the new device. So everything's checked by default right now, but you can see you bring your calls, your contacts, your messages for the last 30 days, your apps, your data, your settings, your images, your photos, your audio. So basically it has everything. And these have options within these menus. So if I click on messages, I can go from 30 days to three months. So let's go ahead and do that. They also have some home screen options, videos, photos, audio, and basically just everything. And from here, click transfer. All right, so it's checking the matchings and pretty much brings up all the applications. And from here, you can go through and deselect some of them. So Apple Music, for instance, is something I know I will never use on this phone. House Party, I've never used that. I downloaded it, but never, never really got into it. So found our applications, we're gonna click install. So finally got an ETA and you can see it's about 11 minutes. So that's not too bad. So hopefully it copied everything I need. I don't fully expect this to, to retain my passwords, but at least it'll bring the applications, hopefully the photos. So we just let it run and I'll let you know if I experience any issues. So here's the breakdown of everything that was copied. So you can see it copied uh, 395 contacts, 1900 messages. I need to clean that out. Four iPhone data backups. 365 images, 62 videos, no music. I really don't do music on my device. I normally run everything through Plex. So also have 142 recordings and 34 documents. We can also get images from our iCloud. So if you have a lot of stuff in your iCloud, you can go ahead and sign in. Samsung Notes also has a report of the Android apps that actually match on iOS. So that's pretty good. Um, what it did is just basically use the reference point to copy those applications over. So this is my actual home screen. So what it tried to do, it tried to mimic what I had on my iPhone. So I can see some of those same folders that I created um, on my iPhone over here. So I have a streaming folder, social, Google, home automation, food, finance, work. So I uh, did a good job in copying it. Let's take a look at iPhone. So over the iPhone, you can see it has my settings up top, my app store, my photos, cameras, calendar, clock, my watch for the wear, Puffin browser is in there. So overall, pretty good job. You can see the next screen. It has some other stuff there. So it looks like my photos seem to be there for the most part. I have some pictures that I took today, actually. You can see it there. There's a snake from yesterday, some other stuff. 
but overall looks pretty good. As far as the applications and what's going to be signed in, uh, let's go ahead and launch Plex. All right, so you are going to have to sign into your applications. That's one thing that Apple will not allow. Let's see Classroom Dojo. Yep, you're going to have to sign in. So to retrieve your username and password from your keychain on your iPhones, go to your settings. You're going to scroll down to where it says passwords and account. Now, if you click on that, guys, up top, it should have website and app passwords. So click on that again. It should scan your face. Just make sure it's you. And within there, you'll have all the accounts that you have saved on your device. So if you click on any of them, it should show you your username and password for each login. So it is a little bit cumbersome, but once you go through, you can save the information to Samsung Pass and you should be good to go. Yes, it's going to copy your apps, but you're going to have to go ahead and log in all over again. So keep that in mind. So that's it for this video. Just a quick way to copy your data from your iPhone over to your Samsung. And this will also work if you're going from Samsung to Samsung. So if you don't have one of these little guys, a USB-C to USB-A adapter, but you do have a Lightning to USB-C, you can go ahead and use that. If you don't have any one of these, you can do it wirelessly, but just remember that wireless might be a little bit longer. So make sure your battery is fully charged. So if you have any questions on anything we did today, drop it in the comment section. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.